Hiya. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah, great, thanks. So, um, where do you fancy going today? I mean, <laughs> seaside? You should say Lake District? Stonehenge? Do the whole tourist thing? Or do you just fancy seeing your boyfriend again? Oh, I think I'll take the boyfriend option, please. Boring! <laughs> <laughs> kind of way I've missed you over the last couple of weeks. Strange about that, you know, I'm a, I'm a legend, remember? It, do you remember when the, the local paper called me awesome? Yeah, they were quoting you though, weren't they? If it's in print, it still counts. <laughs> Even if it's in an advert that you paid for. Well, yeah. And it was an advert that you designed yourself with a terrible font, so it didn't even look like the word awesome. It looked like... Augustine. Still one more Augustine than you've had though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, even your name didn't read properly because the typeface was so bad. It looked like you were called Milk. <laughs> My mum thought it was hilarious. Yeah, well, I always used to make her laugh, didn't I? What do you mean by that? Well, she approved of me, didn't she? Did she? Well, yeah. Of course she did. That's a relief. I mean, you know. But why is that relevant now, anyway? It's just nice to know, isn't it? So, how was it? How was what? <laughs> Seville, with the lovely Jennifer. Yeah, no, it's... It's, <clears throat> it's great, thanks. It's, um... rocked. You don't look very tanned. Oh, do you? <laughs> yes, but I've been stuck in an office in Cambridge all week. Or Adam's windowless flat. Not sunning myself in Spain. Heard the weather was... Pretty good around here over the, uh, the last week or so. <laughs> Michael. Mike. Michael, is everything okay? Y yeah, no, no, it's, it's it's I'm just not a fan of the sun, you know. Like, me and nature, yeah, nature burns me. Do you know that? So I just stayed in quite a lot, you know. I, Imagine me with like, a suntan and that swagger of a man who's well travelled. No, no, I'll go for the pasty look. You know, that's the look I have. I'm British and I'm, I'm pale. That's what the, uh, the ladies go for, isn't it? <laughs> and did Jennifer love it? Did she have a good time? Yeah. Yeah, she did. Stop doing that, please. What? Checking your phone while driving. I'm not driving, we're stuck in traffic. But it's still dangerous. Why? Well, it's illegal. <laughs> and you're the police now, are you? And besides, my engine is actually off. Fine. What's so <laughs> important? <laughs> Nothing, I was just checking. Checking what? None of your business. Look. No, okay, look, looks like the traffic's going to move again now, so switch the engine on in anticipation, ready to move. And, and there's no hassle, I have full control over this vehicle, see? <sighs> Nothing so important that you have to check your phone every half hour. That's clearly where we differ, isn't it? What do you mean by that? You're one of those girls that yeah, reads a text and then doesn't reply for hours, aren't you? I know you are. I remember you now. You're always playing games. Sometimes I can't reply straight away. 
basic manners, Emily. It's like if you're in a conversation, say we're, we're talking, and then someone asks you a question, and then you delay replying for what, three hours. It's not nice, is it? It's leaving people hanging, feeling like a loser. Adam's okay with it. Look, is everything all right between you and Jennifer? What happened in Seville that made you so tetchy? Michael. <laughs> It's not nice, is it? Being left hanging for an answer? That's what it's like being in a text co conversation with your type. Perhaps in the future you could just adjust your ways. Has she left you? No. No. Of course she hasn't. I mean, I'm still driving halfway down the country to see her, aren't I? <coughs> it's just. It's just Roberto. Who's Roberto? Exactly, who's Roberto? Well, you must have an inkling or else you wouldn't know his name. He's a dick. That's who he is. Make your mother laugh then? Who? You know, what's his face? Whatever, whatever. Your new. What's he called again? Alan. Adam. Uh, yeah, him. Does he make your mother laugh? Of course he does. As I told you before, he's a stand up comedian. <laughs> you see, you say that, but I actually looked him up uh, online and I couldn't see any comedy gigs with his name on it at all, uh, actually. Uh, you know, sorry to, to break this to you, but do you actually think that he's not just trying to get into your knickers, like, lots of time. I'm, I'm sorry, darling, but, but men do that sometimes. You know, they <laughs> pretend that they're really successful, but actually... He's doing a show tonight, actually, down by the waterside. Why don't you come down and actually meet him? OK, thanks. I'll leave a flyer here for you. He's really funny. Sure he is. My mum thought he was hilarious when she met him. Funnier than me. I've been helping him rehearse his act. He does this thing where he starts his whole show from his dressing room, but with his microphone, obviously. And when he gets lost finding the stage, and he ends up in the street and he drags on people from the street like taxi drivers and other people and he ends up bringing them on stage. It's hilarious. <laughs> and then he does this incredible impression of footballer Peter Crouch and he's got a really good poem about buying a laptop from Tesco. Oh, and hey, 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 hey. She's left you for a hunk called Roberto. She has not left me for Roberto hunk, man. And for the record, I'm quite aware that some men are only interested in one thing and sometimes exaggerate to get what they want. I've learnt from my mistakes. And what do you mean by that? You told me you were an entrepreneur. I was. <laughs> you ran a crap car boot sale. Milks Augustine baguettes. Mike's awesome bargains. Still, hardly a threat to Alan Sugar, was it? I was trying, Emily. Okay, trying? And so is Adam. Sure. Good for him. Look, um. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? What for? Putting on Hey Mickey. It's just. 
I'm starting to cringe. So it, it sounded rubbish, you know? I know, your self-made car compilations always do have some questionable no, no, additions. No, 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 I'm at Alex's show. Yeah, it sounded terrible the way you're describing it. I was just cringing too much. Just to block it out with the music. It sounded awful. Firstly, his name is Adam. And no, it's great. I just haven't explained it properly. Please give it a chance. Okay, I'll try. Thank you. Look, who is Roberto? He was our entertainment at the hotel, playing all these terrible covers. Women loved him. And Jennifer? Yeah, no, no, she, she liked him, I could see that. I could swear that I heard her say Roberto in her sleep, but she denied it. Said she was having a dream about a photo. So nothing actually happened? He added her as a friend on Facebook and she accepted. And? He's got biceps that can crush a can of baked beans. He's got his chiselled jawline. He's got colour coordination with his clothes. Women love all that. He's, he's everything I'm not. Bless you. Jason. Remember Jason? Well, that idiot behind the bar at the, um, at the old line? Yeah, he asked me out. And then there was also Chris from Tennis Club. And then there was James. Ah, oh, everybody loved James from commercial planning. They all did. And you were never tempted? Well, of course I was tempted, but I was with you. You and your ways. You're so dependable. Dependable and loyal. And you're so nice. You go all the way to Bristol every weekend to see your girlfriend. And you're so nice, you even give your ex-girlfriend a lift too. <laughs> By now, she must know what a nice guy you are, Michael. Mike. And besides, this Roberto fella lives in Spain. Considering she can't be bothered to make the trip all the way up to Cambridge to see you, I doubt she's going to go all the way over there. <laughs> <laughs> It's here again. Thanks for the lift. Any, I have missed you. Anytime. <laughs> see you next week. Or even at the comedy tonight. Or see you next week. <laughs> okay. Have a nice weekend and stop worrying. When the river shallow